My name is Sarah Coulthard. I'm a lecturer in international development at Northumbria University. And my research interests um, largely stem around the ways in which people depend upon using natural resources, so forests, or fisheries, land. How, how do they depend on natural resources for their well-being, for a livelihood, for the quality of life that they have? Um, and in particular, I'm interested in, in fisheries. I don't know if you're aware, but there is, we're in the middle of a global fisheries crisis where we're running out of fish at alarming rates um, due to overfishing, habitat loss. Um, we also don't know how climate change is going to affect um, fish production in the near future. So there's a big concern globally about there not being enough fish to catch anymore. And, um, and my interest is how does that global fisheries crisis affect some of the poorest and most vulnerable communities around the world who are very much dependent on being able to fish um, for both their livelihood, but um, and of course many more people depend on fish as an important uh, protein-rich source of food security. Um, I work throughout India and Sri Lanka and parts of Africa to try and document how the declining availability of fish is affecting uh, fishing families who are um, often heavily dependent on being able to fish and often have very little access to alternative forms of making a living. I spend a lot of time in these communities trying to document how the fisheries crisis, so how the fact that there's less fish available in many areas, how that's affecting people's lives and how it's affecting their well-being, not just in terms of their individual well-being, but also how that affects social well-being, so relationships with each other, relationships between fishers and their crew members, or between fishers and traders, between men and women. And I'm also interested in what people are doing amongst themselves to try and um, improve their uh, life conditions within um, this problem of there being less fish. Um, so how fishing communities sometimes come together to uh, collectively organise uh, access to the fishery, or they might um, come together to try and mobilise their resources and and protest to try and get a greater voice in decision making around fisheries policy. So I'm very much interested in how fishers and their families are, are helping themselves to try and improve their, their situation. Um, and fishers, of course, have kind of two, they're being hit by two things at the same time. That's on one aspect of it is that there's less fish available, um, but, but another aspect, of course, is that there's increasingly restrictive policies and management procedures in place that try and move people out of fishing, to try and conserve fish stocks, to try and conserve fragile habitats. So it might be that might be enacted through a marine protected area or through a particular gear restriction. And whilst these mechanisms can be very effective in terms of conserving the resource, the, the marine resource and protecting habitat, and um, the short term impacts for people who are dependent on fishing is um, also very important and my work tries to work with marine biologists to try and get a more integrated view of some of the impacts that conservation measures have on, on human well-being in the local area.